Hunters beware. You may be transporting exotic species that threaten to destroy Ontario's rivers and lakes as we know them, and not even know it. They attach themselves to your fishing gear and the hull of your boat. They can be in your bilge water and live well, hidden in the plants caught on your trailer and prop. They can even be the plants themselves. Nearly 200 non-native species from around the world are known to be in the Great Lakes. Voracious predators threatening native fish populations, aggressive vegetation destroying vital habitat, undermining Ontario's biodiversity and natural resources that generate billions of dollars every year. And recreational boaters and anglers are giving many of them a free ride from lake to lake. It's really important that people understand first that this is a very serious issue and that the real key to making a difference is what the individual cottager or boater can do. Simple things like as soon as you pull out of the launch area you need to drain all standing water in the boat and certainly any live wells that you may have filled while you're out fishing. And if you see vegetation like this hanging off the, the boat motor, off the parts of the trailer, that needs to be pulled off. You should actually spray your boat down as well, spray the boat hull, spray the trailer. Use high pressure water or hot water or dry your boat in the sun for five days before moving it to another water body. Exercise extreme caution. Invasive species can be a leading cause of species extinction and many can be invisible to the naked eye. They may have originally escaped our aquariums and water gardens or the ballast waters of ocean going ships, even the live food fish trade, but recreational boaters and anglers are spreading them. So stop the invasion and help keep all our lakes great. Call the Invading Species Hotline or visit invadingspecies.com to learn more. This message is brought to you by the Government of Ontario and the Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters, your partners in conserving Ontario's biodiversity.